Jennifer Lopez is effortlessly glamorous in a pinstripe cord as she is helped into water taxi by chivalrous boyfriend Ben Affleck after strolling through Venice holding hands. Jennifer Lopez and boyfriend Ben Affleck continued their public display of affection on Friday on the 10th day of the Venice Film Festival. The singer, 52, made a stylish arrival for the penultimate day in a chic pinstripe cord, while Ben, 49, cut a dapper figure in a navy black suit and partially unbuttoned shirt. The couple, who are in Venice for Ben's film premiere The Last Duel, held hands as they strolled through the romantic city before the actor showed off his chivalrous side by helping J.L.O. into a water taxi. The Love Don't Cost a Thing hitmaker looked stunning in the black and white pinstripe top, which was partially cropped, while the matching A-line skirt added drama. Styling her brunette hair back in a ponytail, Jennifer ramped up the glamour with diamond earrings and a giant pair of oversized sunglasses. Jennifer complemented her monochrome look with white strappy sandals, which elevated her statuesque frame, and a black crocodile print handbag. Earlier in the day J. Lo traveled on her own, Ben headed out with his best pal Matt Damon, 50, and Jody Kummer, 28, ahead of their premiere for the film The Last Duel. Ben rocked a pair of black aviators to shield his eyes from the sun and his brown hair was styled in a small quiff. The couple reunited earlier this year 17 years after they broke off their engagement and have been inseparable ever since. Ben and Jennifer had been set to wed in 2003 but postponed their wedding before calling off their relationship. They rekindled their romance a few months ago after her split from Alex Rodriguez in April 2021 following four years of dating. Despite dating for a bit of time privately, the pair only went public last month, making it Instagram official to Lopez's 168 million followers. Since going public with their romance, Ben and Jennifer enjoyed a luxury yacht holiday with stocks in Monaco, Saint Tropez, and Capri, as well as Nerano last month. Jennifer's ex Irod was also in Saint Tropez at the time, celebrating his 46th birthday on an ocean paradise yacht which has an eye-watering price tag of 27 million euros, $31,860,810, and can hold 12 guests and another 12 crew. Yet that is no match for Jennifer's Valerie, priced at 110 million euros, $129,817,600, where earlier this week she and Ben were seen recreating steamy scenes from her 2002 music video Jenny from the Block. Jennifer is said to be fully committed to Ben but doesn't want to jump into an engagement or marriage any time soon. A source explained, they, are fully committed to each other. They have been meshing their lives and families and don't feel the need to get engaged yet or even tie the knot. They have both been there and don't feel it's necessary. They are both very secure within their relationship and Ben worships her. It's truly meant to be and everyone around them thinks they are a perfect match. But it doesn't look like it will be long before the loved-up pair take their relationship to the next level by moving in together. An insider said, their friends wouldn't be surprised if they move in together and ultimately end up together. They're spending all of their free time together and making each other a priority. Ben has children Violet, 15, Serafina, 12, and Samuel, 9, with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner while Jennifer has 13-year-old twins Em and Max with ex Mark Anthony. The actor, Matt and Jody star in The Last Duel which follows the the true story of Jean de Carroges, a 14th-century French knight who embarks on a fight to the death with former friend Jacques Legris, Adam Driver. Adapted from Eric Yeager's book of the same name, Jody's character Marguerite is the woman at the center of the fight, after she and her husband de Carroges accuse Legris of raping her. The last duel marks the first return of Matt's writing partnership with Ben since their award-winning script for Good Will Hunting, and the pair co-wrote the screenplay alongside Nicole Holofcener. Originally, Matt and Ben were set to play the two leading roles in the film, but they ran into scheduling conflicts because of Ben's film Deep Water, so Adam took over the role of Legris. Ben will instead star as Count Pierre Delzen. Filming began on the movie in February last year in France but the set was shut down in March due to the pandemic and travel restrictions in Europe, before they returned to filming in September.
Matt was at the film's next location in Ireland when lockdown began and, amid the travel ban, ended up isolating in the seaside resort of Dalkey, an affluent suburb of Dublin with his wife and four children for a few weeks. The last duel had a scheduled release date of December 2020 but it has now been pushed back to October 15, 2021.